Hi, my name is Pastor Mike, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to our devotion for today, which is entitled, The Power of God. Our text is Paul's, letter, Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 18 and following. Paul writes, for the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom. It pleased God through the folly of what we preach to save those who believe. For Jews demanded signs and Greeks seek wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified a stumbling block, block to the Jews and folly to the Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For consider your calling, brothers. Not many of you were wise according to worldly standards. Not many were powerful, not many were of noble birth, but God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, even things that are not, to bring to nothing the things that are, so that no human being might boast in the presence of God. And because of him, you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, righteousness and sanctification and redemption, so that, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Uh, yesterday, uh, Paul reminded us that as Christians, we shouldn't divide ourselves into factions or denominations. But instead, we should listen to the complete apostolic message. There is only one gospel, and it is about Christ. It is about the cross and redemption through faith in the crucified Lord. Now, a talk like this is foolishness to the world. For the moralists, it's downright offensive because they think it's obvious that you can deserve to come to God through good works. For the rationalists, it's ridiculous that God would become man in the first place, that he would die, and that Jesus would make atonement for our sin. You see, nothing coincides with their preconceived notions of God. The fact that God could differ from our idea of him has never been made clear to them. However, it's obvious that the talk about the cross is truly God's power of salvation for those who receive it in faith. Because it's something that affects all of us. It's something that shows its reality by literally changing our lives. We can't see God. However, we can encounter him in such a way that there is no doubt who we're dealing with. That happens through the gospel. Paul realized that the works of God are more easily received and understood by simple 
common people. In his letter, Paul appealed to the Corinthians' own experience. There weren't many powerful, distinguished, or wise of the world who were called. Instead, God chose those who seemed to be insignificant. Jesus often speaks of this, for God has concealed the gospel from those who think they're wise, and he has revealed it to the common and unsophisticated people like you and me. Because we're the ones who hear God when he speaks to us in our heart. Let us pray. Lord God, thank you for choosing us to be your simple messengers in a complicated and sinful world. Through the power of your Holy Spirit, help us to trust and believe in the gospel and share its power of salvation with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. We'll see you next time.